Hey folks, how's it going? My name is Jay and you are watching Take 2. So what is Take 2? Take 2 is a second revisit to a product that has already been reviewed on SoundstageHiFi.com. This particular product, the Totem Skylight Mini Monitor, was reviewed by Doug Schneider on March 1st, 2020 under his System 1 column. So make sure to check that review out and read it on SoundstageHiFi.com or you can check the link description below this video to click on that link and then read it as well. Now, in this video, we're not gonna go into the specifications or technicalities too much. Uh, you can check that out on the actual review. Um, in this video, we're gonna go over it briefly and we're gonna go over my experience with the speakers. So, getting right down to it. Now, this speaker is made in Canada by uh, Totem Acoustic and it's going to be a 1 inch soft dome tweeter and a 5.75 inch woofer. It's going to be a two way speaker and it's going to have a simple first order crossover crossing over at 2.5 kilohertz. On the back of the speakers, you're going to get a, uh, a ported design and you're going to have a four way binding post allowing you the option to buy amp or buy wire the speakers. So that pretty much basically covers it. Oh, and one more thing. At the price of 1000 USD, you're going to get a real wood veneer, which is, I think, a fantastic fantastic deal and these speakers look really really nice in my opinion. Talking about the different sound elements and what I found with these speakers. Now when it comes to the mid bass region or even the bass region, I found it to be very full sounding, very fast, very good decay and overall a very filling experience. Now when it comes to small rooms, medium rooms and even a little bit of the larger rooms, it's going to be able to fill that space no problem. And for such a small speaker, I found that to be incredible. Now I was scratching my head because I owned the Totem Sky from uh, Totem Acoustic and that speaker had a woofer that was a little bit smaller than this woofer um, at the size of 5.25 inches. Now this woofer is actually going to be a little bit larger so even, the speak even though the speakers are going to be slightly smaller, it's going to have a, sm a slightly bigger woofer at 5.75 inches like I talked about and maybe it's partially due to that, and maybe it's partially due to the fact that this uh, woofer is going to be a long throw woofer, allowing it to have a bigger excursion than other woofers. Um, it's going to sound really, really big for its size, and you will be surprised when you get these speakers. However, it is a small speaker, and it's not going to be able to do the deep, deep bass. It's going to start rolling off around 60 hertz, so I used my dual T5i subwoofers from RHEL, and crossed it over around 60 to 70 hertz and that allowed me to have a really, really good deep, deep bass and grip while having that fast and wonderful mid-bass presentation from the totem. Now when I get to the uh, mid-range, the mid-range is going to sound very pure, clear, and natural. And I think that's the best way I would describe it. The Bacard S400 or some of the warmer sounding speakers is going to have a tone to the instrument that's a little bit more full-bodied. The totem, on the other hand, is not going to lie to you about the different instrumental sound. It's going to be a little bit on the leaner side. So, meaning that if the instrument is going to be a high-pitched sound, it's going to be presented in that way. It's going to be leaner as it goes to a higher-pitched instrumental sound. And I found that to be an excellent presentation to what an actual instrument sounds like. The tone, the tonality of the instrument is going to be realistic and natural, in my opinion. Now when it comes to the high frequency, the high frequency is going to have sparkle, it's going to have excitement, it's going to be a little bit on the slightly forward side, allowing you to have the chance to get up from your chair and start dancing with excitement. Uh, it's not going to be laid back in presentation, it's going to be truthful to the recording you play, and it's going to have lots of air and extension in the top end. Now with this being said, the imaging is going to be very very pinpoint and it's going to have really really good separation and instrument to balance and I'm gonna say that the overall tonality and balance of the speaker is going to be excellent. Now the sound stage is going to be excellent and very very large uh, which you would be expecting from a mini monitor like this and that pretty much covers the individual elements. Now when it comes to the room placement, despite that it, this is a small size speaker, it is going to be pretty room dependent in my opinion. Now I found it that I liked it with a little bit of uh, room from the back wall since this is rear ported and I had them a little bit tilted towards me a little bit more than I would uh, with other speakers. So a little bit of extreme tilt hitting around my shoulders and that gave me a perfect balance between bass and imaging in my room. 
Now, when it comes to the actual stands that I used, I used the monolithic stands. I used a 24 inch stand to begin with, and then I actually used a 28 inch stand because that was more suited for my listening space and my listening position. Now, this speaker stands are very cheap, and I find that they are excellent for uh, this type of speaker, the perfect size actually. And I used blue tack to attach the speakers firmly onto the uh, speaker stand so that it eliminates any kind of resonances or vibrations that you won't want to hear in your recordings. So when it comes to the components I used with these speakers, I personally used the Parasound Hint 6, which I found to be an excellent match. I also used the Hegel H120, but I thought was just not enough power, liked a little bit more, so I paired it up with the Hegel H190, and I thought to be that to be a perfect match, giving a little bit more power and gut and authority to the sound. Uh, with these speakers. So that will be my recommendation that I personally try with these speakers and I would highly recommend it. So for my experience with low to high level listening with the Totem Skylight speakers, I find that from low to normal listening levels, they are excellent and exceptional and very natural sounding. However, when it comes to high levels like party type of sound, then it is a little bit too bright on the uh, top end. It is a little bit too forward for my liking. And aside from that, um, more bright presentation at high levels. At higher levels, it is starting to um, not be able to take on those demanding tracks. Like for example, Hey Now by London Grammar is a great choice. It starts to bottom out with those kind of uh, uh, tracks as well. And so you have to think about its physical limitations when it comes to high listening levels like that. Now in terms of caveats, there's not going to be many caveats per se with these speakers as long as you understand the physical limitation of the speaker. I mean, this is a small speaker, so you're not going to be able to play really demanding tracks um, like for example, Hey Now by London Grammar at very high levels without a subwoofer especially. So as long as you're aware of that, there's not going to be many ca uh, caveats per se. Uh, you're going to have to play around with the room placement to get these speakers sounding perfectly right for you, um, of course. And other than that, there's not going to be many caveats. It is going to be a little bit of a cultural shock when you move from a warmer sounding tonal speaker to a little bit more leaner sounding uh, tonal balance speaker like this. So you'll have to get used to that. And that's pretty much it. So as for my final thoughts, I think that Totem Acoustic Skylight Mini Monitor is an excellent mini monitor choice. A lot of people love mini monitors, including myself, because it has an impeccable uh, imaging and soundstage capability that you just can't get from a floor standing speaker. However, it deters people away because it doesn't have that kind of authority in the mid bass region. However, like I said, the Totem Skylight does have that really good bass response that you just wouldn't expect from a speaker this size. So for those of you that want to experience a mini monitor that sounds full and has that great imaging and soundstage capability, it is a great choice. And also, if you're in a smaller space and want, want a smaller speaker that can produce a tremendous amount of bass, then this speaker is perfect as well. It's very natural and it produces a really good bass response in my opinion. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.